welcome back to uh, my channel this week outspoken wheels on wheels my name is Joan if you haven't been to my channel before uh, this week I'm back at Cook Creek which is probably my all-time favorite place to camp it's close to where I live and it's beautiful it's right on the river but this year there's a forest fire across the river So yes, I was back out at Cook Creek. I hadn't been there for a really long time, since spring, and it's now August 1st. I spent the weekend out there. I just really, really wanted to get away and not have anybody around. Um, so I went out for four days, and I didn't um, have any of my friends with me. It just was me and God and the river and the forest fire. So I knew there was a forest fire before I went out there, but it didn't sound like it was anything serious. I also knew it was right across the river. So the whole weekend was very different from anything that I've had out at Cook Creek before. I spent um, most of the time listening to the generator that they had running there was also the sounds of the helicopters because there was um, sometimes two helicopters dipping their buckets into the river and dumping them on the fire. Uh, and then one day there was two airplanes that weren't um, float planes. They didn't have pontoons on the bottom of them. Uh, but I imagine they were able to float somehow in the lake because they were they were bombing the fire with water. And then there was um, another day, there was six float planes that would make their circuit between the fire and the lake to get their water. And so when they would, <laughs> when they'd be dropping their water, there would be six planes, one right after the other, uh, going by and dumping their water on there. So it was never quiet out there. Actually, there was a couple of times, and boy, when that happened, I just really appreciated it because you could hear the river, um, and it just was really nice. So anyways, I have to apologize ahead of time for the video or the sound quality of a lot of this, and even the video quality because obviously it's hard to um, hear me in some of them because, some of the clips, because there's just so much noise in the background, and then my campsite had trees between me and the river and so it was blocking a lot of my view of the fire and so really interesting everything that was going on but i i don't have good video of it because it was all through the trees so bear with me this week <clears throat> um i will try to make it as interesting as possible got a forest fire going on out at cook creek made the weather to come because it's been going on since last weekend it's the middle of the week now can't really see it from my sight but it is just beyond that little grove of trees you can kind of see the smoke over there you can definitely hear the generator and a few seconds ago you could hear the helicopter too they're picking water out of the river and dumping it on the fire so i'm here camping at cook creek i'm gonna enjoy it anyways in spite of the noise I took this video on my way out when I was leaving the campground just so you had a better idea what the fire looked like. These clips were also taken from the road. You can see the white dot to the right of your screen against the mountain. That's a helicopter with the hose dipped down into the river sucking water into the helicopter to drop on the fire. And then there's another helicopter waiting to take off until that one's done. Um, there it goes, waiting to pick up water. And you can just barely see um, a red dot hanging below the helicopter. That's the bucket. Um, so one is one was collecting water through a siphon and one was collecting water through a bucket.
my back door. So the solar panels are out there. They will get sunny. And my one battery is at 92%. I've been using this one for the fridge. And I've been here, I got here on Thursday, and it's Saturday around noon. And it's at 30% with it being charged a little bit yesterday but using it for the bad, um, for the fridge all day as well, for two days, day and a half, whatever, probably two days. Um, this one was only being used for my heating pad, which I didn't really need that much, and for charging my phones. Um, I moved the fridge, I've got the fridge plugged in on this one now, so that that one can maybe get some charge this afternoon. It was a really good idea getting two Jackery's 500s because they're more lightweight and easier for me to manage and I can alternate them on the fridge. And then having two solar panels is really good as well. 200 watt solar panels and two 500 Jackery Explorers. Well, instead of going home today because it was too hot, it was really hot yesterday and I wasn't feeling very good anyways, so the heat was affecting me more than it maybe would have anyways. But I was outside. I'm in my old wheelchair. You can see it right there. Where? How do you point? Anyways, you can see it in the background. There. Um, not my new one. And my new one, I'm actually discovering, is more comfortable than that one. So sitting outside in the heat in an uncomfortable wheelchair yesterday was not ideal. So today I decided that I was not going to get out of my van until probably around supper time when it starts to cool down. Um, it, it gets enough shade in this campground that it cools down enough. So today I'm managing the heat. Right now it's 32 degrees in here. Um, 32 degrees Celsius. Actually, I can look and for you Americans tell you what that actually is. It's 90 degrees. I don't like that. I don't like it to be that hot. Um, so one thing I do to manage it is a spray bottle full of just plain water. And I just, when I get feeling like it's a little bit unbearable, I squirt that on and the evaporation really helps me feel a lot cooler. And more energized so but I did decide that this afternoon was gonna be totally R&R &R. Um, so I have a novel and I'm just going to lie down for or sit here for the afternoon and not really try to pressure myself to do anything this morning I spent um, reading my Bible and journaling and reading a book that um, there's a movie out called Jesus Revolution and I really uh, I really liked it I watched it when I was in Arizona and um, it really took me back to when I was a kid growing up in um, a church that was a lot like the church that a lot of these hippies um, started going into uh, and the church wasn't sure what to do with that um, they didn't dress properly they had long hair all that kind of stuff I remember all that kind of thing and that, well where I grew up there wasn't a lot of hippies there was some but um, We, as kids, weren't allowed to be like that. We had to wear nice normal clothes. Um, boys weren't allowed to have long hair and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, I've been reading the book, Jesus Revolution, and um, it's just inspiring me to know that, uh, well, back when I was growing up, Christianity looked like one thing. And it was a very narrow thing that it looked like. And now I'm realizing that to be a Christian, you don't have to look a certain way. I've realized that for a long time, but um, you don't have to be a certain way. You don't have to act a certain way. So long as the Bible is your guide, 
um, with the Holy Spirit guiding you through the Bible, then you are a believer. And even if that means that you smoke a pack a day, um, even if it means you're um, stuck in the drug culture and can't get out of that, um, God loves you anyways. And so it's not... Um, we're very judgmental, not just Christians, but everybody in the world seems like these days are very judgmental. And anyways, I'm kind of rambling a bit and maybe not making a lot of sense because I'm still kind of thinking this all through. But I found the Jesus Revolution movie really inspiring. But because I was um, traveling with friends at that point, it was really hard for me to just go sit down and really um, write down everything that I wanted to that had kind of struck me about the movie So I thought the book would be really good and probably have a lot more detail in it And I'm halfway through the book and it took to get to that point before it started talking about some of this stuff, but um, I'm reading it now and I probably have Written three or four pages of journals um, In a you know in a regular size uh, notebook so anyways uh, again I'm rambling it's because I'm trying to kill the four hours four to five hours that well four hours that it's gonna be really hot in here um, without doing too much I don't want to exert too much energy exerting the energy to pull a salad bag out of the fridge and um, and mix it and eat it just made me super hot so this afternoon is all about relaxation. So, there you go. Huh, it's 34 degrees in here. I'm about halfway through the afternoon. Hoping it'll cool down soon, but probably not for another couple hours. I seriously do not know how those firefighters across the river are managing this. because They're wearing their big bulky protective gear and whatever and I'm lying here on my bed just practically dying I don't like heat not this hot anyways so got my trusty spray bottle spraying down about every two seconds okay, maybe not every two seconds just reading my novel and waiting for the early evening or supper time. Anyways, that's all for now. This morning I was filming the beauty. And today, or later today, I don't know if you can actually see that. But it's smoky. It's not too bad, but it's smoky and I can smell it. Maybe you can see it up there in the background more. This is what I've been camping with. It's been really different this time with that fire over there. But I want to be here. I needed some time to be alone. I needed some time for spiritual refreshment. I just needed time. A lot of time. And so it's been hot and noisy with the generator across the river and the helicopters and the water bombers and last night there would be six water bombers at a time they just go by zoom 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 six of them um, anyways it's been an interesting few days I was gonna go home today because I was also battling the heat too much heat but um, I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna stay in the van where I'm in the shade I've got all the, all the doors opened so that I can catch a breeze well I'm leaving Cook Creek right now <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've been here um, it was really really nice to be back I'm sad to be leaving, 
Not sad to be leaving all the fire noise and everything. You can hear that. Anyways, here I go. 